This is part two. I know some of you are still wondering, okay, so why do I need the Holy Spirit? Yeah, I'm going to tell you why I needed the Holy Spirit and why I thank God my husband had the Holy Spirit working in him so God could protect me. All right. One day, my husband and I had the afternoon together. I got off early from the salon. We were clowning and doing our typical little silliness. And we really enjoyed each other's company. I just loved his crazy personality. And he was a man's man. He was 100% blind. But he had a sensitivity to the Holy Spirit that uh, some men don't have. And this was the cute part about it, was he didn't even know when the Holy Spirit was using him. I would say 90% of the time, maybe once in a while he would know. But this time he did not know. And for a minute, neither did I. So listen, here I am getting ready to go. I said, okay, I'll see you in a minute, fathead. I'm getting ready to get what you wanted from the thing. And I was getting myself something. So I'm, I'm getting ready to run out to grab us a bite. And... As I opened the door, all of a sudden, pleasant afternoon, everything's cool, and this is what he says. And I'm going to share the tone that he said it in. And you know how we ladies are about that tone of voice. <laughs> he says, you be careful out there on that road here. I said, where did that come from? Well... All of a sudden, my sweet loving husband started hearing something, started feeling something. And he didn't realize he was being moved on by the Holy Spirit. And I asked him, I said, what made you say that? And he said, Oh, I don't know, Mama. I really don't know. I just felt like I needed to tell you to be careful on the road. So be careful, Mama, okay? I said, okay. And I headed out the door. And I said, well, look at that. And I said, well, he usually gets that tone. The Lord was reminding me when God is using him to tell me something, usually in a warning. When he has a warning on his in his spirit, that's the way he sounds. He sounds angry and demanding. You be careful on that road, blah blah blah. So anyway, I get in the car now. I am on high alert because I respect not only my husband, but I respect the way that the Holy Spirit moves in him. And I listen. So I, since I took heed, I'm on high alert. I'm heading down the street, and at the very first stop sign, one and a half blocks from the house, I have to make a left turn. And when I get ready to make this left turn, as soon as I finished the left turn and I'm straightening out, what to my wondering eyes should appear but a woman backing out of her driveway at top speed, mind you, as if nobody's on that road but her out in the middle of nowhere. And if I had not been on high alert, we both would have been toast. But I saw her backing. And I, I was ready for her to keep coming out, even though I, my brain said anybody with any sense would stop and look before they kept coming. So rather than assume, I put my foot on that brake. And it was a good thing I did. She kept coming. She backed all the way out. We were only about that far apart. And I hit the horn just so I could scare her a little bit, you know. Yeah, I did that on purpose. That was the unchristian part of me. I got a little kick out of that. But I was so glad that God had warned me that way because I wouldn't have been expecting anybody to do anything that dumb. But she did it. And nobody got hurt because of the gift of the Holy Spirit working in my husband. That's one of the reasons we need the Holy Spirit working in us. Tell you another one real quick. 
One day I was coming home from the shop and I was going to stop at two stores. And something kept saying, no, I'll just go home. Oh, but I want to stop at the two stores. Oh, maybe I better go home. And I said, well, let me go with going home. Just, you know, in case something's going on with Milton. Remember, he was 100% blind. So I had to take extra precautions with him. I head to the house. I'm walking in all the way I'm battling with, do I go to the store? Do I go to the house? Do I go to the store? Do I go to the house? So anyway, I went on to the, to the house. And I walk in the house and I said, how you doing, Milton? He says, oh, I'm fine, mama. He says, what are we gonna have for dinner tonight? That was always the big thing, what are we gonna eat? So I said, well, boo-boo, I said, do you smell something? Smell what? I said, I smell something burning. I don't smell nothing. I walked around that house, walked, you know, all the obvious places. Everything was fine, but the smell was getting stronger. I went outside. I said, maybe there's a brush fire that's close by. I go outside, go all the way back, I mean, to the front of the house and across the street to really see beyond my house. And I see smoke coming up past the back of my house over the roof. And I'm thinking, what the heck is going on? That's in my yard. I ran up that driveway and the back of my house was in a thick thing of smoke. And I called the fire department. Didn't see any flames. I wasn't waiting to see that, but it was where the electric box was. I went and called the fire department and got Milton's shoes on and got him ready and everything, his medicine, so we could get out of the house. And they get there, and it turns out it was an electrical fire. It was the hot water heater was to the right of the electrical box. And by the time they chopped everything away and got the wall apart, the wood there was up in flames. Had I gone to the store, had I made those two runs, and I love to shop, I would have been a while. Either my husband would have died or gotten badly injured by smoke inhalation. Or the worst of all, I might have been an early widow at that point. And he would have died an awful death. I appreciate the Holy Spirit for giving us instincts and moving us and nudging us. Even if we want to do something, we still feel like, oh, I guess I better go home. I better go home. I couldn't shake that. I could feel like I had to go home. I need to go home. I need to check up on Milton. I need to go home. I need to go home. It was a nagging feeling. Listen, don't ignore those nagging feelings. You never know why you're getting them. Sometimes it's too late if you've ignored them and something drastic happens. Anyway, that's one of the reasons, or shall I say, another reason we need the Holy Spirit working in our lives. So much supernatural protection happens on our behalf because God is looking after us. Let's not take that lightly. <sighs>